Sometimes, like in computer classes, teachers are instructing kids on how to use technology. Other times, the technology changes how they approach traditional subjects. Our We Learn correspondent, Mark Gray, shows us how two teachers at Chinook Elementary used multimedia to transform a social studies project. On the surface, the project dreamed up by two teachers at Chinook Elementary seemed pretty straightforward. Students had to decide whether or not to remove dams from the Snake River to protect salmon populations. But under the surface, there lurked a lot of extra learning. They're teaching themselves to be their own learners. Mm -hmm. Alicia Cast and Erica Anderson teach fourth grade at Chinook Elementary. Their river dam project is part of a mandated curriculum, but they took it beyond the requirements. First, students study the lay of the land. Um, it helped me know where the dams were, and I was really surprised of how many there actually were in Washington. Then, using a number of resources, they research what removing the dams would mean for farmers, for businesses, and for those concerned about the sustainability of salmon populations. Students work in groups to debate the issues. Working with a group helped me understand the research by letting me see other people's perspectives and to compare it to mine so I can include everyone. They take that and they come up with their own position on the issue and um, that's how we kind of reach that higher level of thinking with them. Finally, using the school's computer lab, they make multimedia presentations to argue their position on the issue. The final projects include music, video, graphics, and text. I liked it because we could add mu music and effects to make it more interesting, and it's a lot better than just reading it aloud. The technology helps connect the dots between research, analysis, and self-expression. It engages them in their learning, and they, make, they become more attached to what they're learning, and it becomes their own rather than what just the teacher tells them they need to learn. Projects like this one break the mold of traditional instruction. To be able to prepare our students for um, what they will be facing in their future, we really need to be getting this technology into the schools, having the students work with it. For their efforts with this project, Erica and Alicia were finalists in a competition sponsored by Microsoft. They didn't win, but they did get to spend time in Seattle this summer with some of the country's other top educators. For In the Know, I'm Mark Ray.